what do you make of this doomed resolution? Essentially, we pretty much know it will not pass at the UN Security Council. Does that then essentially mean that either way it's a lose-lose situation for the nuclear deal, snap back or this resolution? Uh, I don't think that's necessarily the case. Um, the idea that if the resolution doesn't pass, which it won't, I think that's pretty clear, that the snapback is then inevitable, uh, it, it is not the case. Um, I think we can be pretty confident that the resolution won't pass. But I think we can also be pretty confident that actually the US will not then be able to uh, invoke the snapback sanctions. Um, even, you know, someone described this as a, the US equivalent of Schrodinger's cat, you know, that, that they could somehow be a participant in the deal and not a participant in the deal at the same time. I don't think anybody takes that seriously apart from them, the Israelis, and maybe the Saudis. Uh, and so I don't think they will be in a position, they won't get the support needed to re invoke the snapback sanctions, and other countries will not join in imposing those sanctions so it, it won't happen it's not what what is what does happen given that neither of those things occurs is an interesting question but i don't think it's an either or in terms of those two hmm. so what does this mean then for for the u.s ability to to hurt the nuclear program I mean, it is still a very powerful country around the world it can still very much muddy the waters when it comes to the nuclear deal can't it uh, i think it can i mean i think um it's always difficult with the Trump administration um, to understand exactly what motivates its actions. But clearly, one explanation, which at some levels almost feels slightly conspiratorial, but given the nature of this administration is perhaps not actually that silly at all, is to see this in part, this move in part, as really about trying to make it impossible for the an incoming Biden administration, which looks quite likely at this point in time to be um, to happen, to make it impossible for that administration to return to the JCPOA to the nuclear deal uh, after January 2021. 